Shakespeare in Love is one of the most beloved and successful British films of all time. But at its heart, it's a story about the theatre. So bringing the story into the theatre seems a natural fit. But how does the creative team go about bringing it to life on stage? Well, I love the movie. I loved it when it came out. And um, it was just wonderful to be offered an opportunity to put it on stage. And it's also, although I've got enormous respect for the film, um, I think we have an opportunity to do something about theatre. And of course, in a theatre, we're uniquely equipped to be able to do that. Um, and, and I'm so look, excited and looking forward to doing that. Well, I think Shakespeare in Love, the movie, springs off the page as a, as a piece for the theatre. There are quite a few good directors of Shakespeare out there. There are a handful of outstanding ones. And then there are just a very few who change the way we think or I think about Shakespeare. I don't know anyone who understands the nature of theatre better than Nick and Declan. Declan Donnellan and Nick Ormerod are perhaps best known for their work with Cheek by Jowl, the theatre company they founded in 1981, which has toured their productions of Shakespeare all over the world. But they've also staged exciting revivals and new works for the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theatre, including the world premiere of Tony Kushner's iconic Angels in America. Oh, Nick and I are having fantastic fun. I mean, we've been saying to ourselves, it's actually quite a long time since we did a comedy, and it's such a joy to be doing a comedy and one that's set at this period, one that we love so much. Shakespeare and love should be very funny, it should be very moving, it should be spectacular. It has a whole range of possibilities, and hopefully the audience will be utterly captivated. First of all, seeing anything that Nick and Declan do is thrilling. It was a great film. It's going to be better on stage because this time there's an audience. Well, our experience with Shakespeare has shown us that he is a contemporary playwright and we're making a contemporary piece about Shakespeare. Tom Stoppard and Lee Hall have already created a fantasy about how Shakespeare might have been and our problem is to make that um, convincing. Shakespeare in Love will have one of the largest companies ever seen for a play in the West End, with 30 performers and a dog. So what qualities does Declan look for when he's casting? The first imperative is always the same, it never changes, and that is that the actor shall be alive. The person must have a, a vitality that's immediately there. That comes before anything else. There are certain qualities that people need to have, and Will needs to have some sense that he might be able to make up these words, as does Viola and they have to have the wit, the presence, the, the magnetism to be able to front that for the evening, and also the depth. Shakespeare in Love is about a London which is very, in some ways, very similar to the London today. It's a huge, vibrant melting pot, and we're playing it um, in a theatre which is only probably a mile from where um, Shakespeare was working. He used to probably walk past the theatre to get to the South Bank every day of his working life. What moment am I most looking forward to? Uh, there are so many, actually. There are, sort of the, there are the great lines. It's great for me and Nick to have an opportunity to um, have fun with the audience. It's like a holiday for us, really, in some respects. Um, it's a great treat to be able to do this script. I can't wait to see this play. I can't wait to see it in part because the talent involved, but also, I love the story, and like all Shakespeare stories, Hamlet, Lear, Macbeth, they're never frozen in time. They have to be recreated. So much of my excitement is, how is Shakespeare in Love going to speak to us today on the 450th anniversary of Shakespeare's birth? Mm -hmm.